So many of us are getting inbound email hell, we call it. M.G. Siegler says he's overwhelmed. So, so does every venture capitalist I know, and so, so am I. I've written 1,500 Gmail filters to try to filter out my email, and it still isn't good enough. So I'm really interested in this next company, Trey.io, that's looking at my email and categorizing it and coming up with new ways to handle my email, and we're going to talk about it right now. Who are you? Uh, I'm Rich Waldron, CEO and co-founder of Trade.io. Uh, I'm a product guy with a tech background. Previously, I ran a web agency that built products. Uh, the first product we built went from zero to 80K in eight months. Very cool. <laughs> um, so this world of email, everybody eventually starts dying underneath the email deluge, particularly as we start signing up for more and more notifications from Facebook and from this social network and that thing and this mobile app. And then it just starts cluttering your email. You can't see it. And then uh, eventually you become like me or uh, a Thomas and we get buried and the good email or the important email that we should have answered is now gone and we don't ever get back down to the, uh, the important stuff. So how do you guys handle this? How, uh, what are you, you going to do for my inbox? <laughs> so um, basically we found out uh, about this problem from just ourselves really getting bombarded with messages all the time. And it wasn't just messages, it's notifications, it's phone calls. There's nothing smart about how we're being interrupted. Uh, what I realized is that there's so much more context to what's coming into us, where we are, who the message is from. We have data and other services that can help with that. So we started speaking to people. Tell us about your inbox. Tell us about the problems you're having. Everybody says something entirely different. Everybody has their own way of working at it. The solution for everybody is entirely different. The products that exist today, some of them are great, and they focus on specific people in specific roles. We, w we wanted to come at this problem uh, in a different way. We wanted to learn from how you already work and give you a platform to create powerful tasks that will work just for you. So uh, I know from reading your posts, you set up 1,500 Gmail filters that are specific to you. Those filters wouldn't work for somebody else. They work for you. Yeah. So our platform takes connecting your existing email, connecting up to the web services you use all the time, bringing the two together, and then we learn from your inbox to suggest tasks that work for you exactly. What would one of these tasks look like? Would, would it be, uh, you know, if I had Facebook uh, notifications coming into my inbox, sure. would one of the tasks be remove Facebook notifications and put them exactly. in a folder? Exactly. So it could be something simple like just moving a notification to a folder, but then things like take attachments that come in of a certain type, put them in my Dropbox straight away, file them under a certain tag. So I know if I get an email every month with accounts, rather than checking the email, I go straight to the accounts folder and the file's already there. Um, a good example for what we have set up at the moment is we're fundraising. So uh, on AngelList, I've got a rule set up that says any time an AngelList investor emails me and they have perhaps over X amount of followers, send it straight to my phone as an SMS. I want to make sure that I get on that email straight away. Uh, in, a, in a time where we're being bombarded with communication, it's really hard to pick out what's important and deal with it quickly. So you, you nailed something, because uh, I'm writing a book about context. You said angel list investor. How does your system know who an angel list investor is? So um, I've authorized my angel list account within Trey. So it uses their API to pick out who an investor is, what their status is, if we already have a relationship. Um, another example I can add is if they contact me, I can not only auto reply or get a message, but I can also follow them back on the platform. So it's actually taking what would normally be maybe a five or 10 minute action, automating that for me, and I just quickly get back to that person. It makes me more efficient, it makes me much more likely to close my round and, and speak to the angel, and it saves me time in my day. So th this sounds like a contextual programming system for email mm -hmm. or messages. Mm -hmm. Is it for any message or just email? So uh, can, can you use this system, for instance, with Twitter direct messages? Or? So for the time being, um, we're email. Uh, we're working on a way of bringing in um, a, a cool element. So being able to redirect phone calls. Let's take the example of a salesperson. Um, they use Salesforce all the time. There's a lot of context in Salesforce about the lead. So 
they might get an email, they might be in a meeting, it could automatically redirect because we can see the Google Calendar, we know what they're doing at that time. That might be followed up with a phone call. The phone call could be pushed elsewhere, it could be pushed to another team member. It makes that salesperson much better at closing the lead. It means that the, the person who's contacting them is getting an update on their situation. It might even say, hey, I'm currently in this meeting, I'll be an hour, which we can do today. So, um, for example, I've set up that I'm meeting you today, had you emailed me on the way in, I'd have had a notification and it would have said, like, Rich is in a meeting with Robert, um, you know, get back to him quickly, or it could be urgent because, you know, he might be cancelling. Riff on the context, what, what else are you studying? What other systems can be studied in this system and programmed against? Yeah, sure. So, um, initially we have about 10 services hooked up, things like Pocket, so that text can get, uh, links can get sent to read it later. Um, we have Twilio, which means that SMSs or text messages can be sent. We have Dropbox. Um, we have AngelList, obviously. But what we're starting to do is look at how location can be relevant as well. Um, if I'm about to go and jump on a plane, then I'm going to be out of contact for the next eight to ten hours, depending on the flight. That means that messages that are coming into me that could be from really important people uh, are going to go back to the right place. It, uh, it's going to say, hey, this guy can't speak for the next eight hours, we can see that he's, he's got on a plane, we know from his phone. Or I get in the car and it redirects how my calls come in, where my emails go. So we're looking at how we can bring what's happening around us and who we identify as important to when we're contacted and where. So are you looking at my calendar to know that I'm traveling or are yeah. you looking at TripIt or are you looking at United Airlines to know that I'm, uh, I bought a ticket? Uh, what yeah, so what, that, what parts of context are so you So that's looking? the whole point of the platform is that um, we have, we've built this, this platform already and we're just adding more services. So you might use your calendar rigid, religiously, which means you set up the tasks based around your calendar. It might be that you rely on TripIt, therefore we use their API and you trigger that as the action. The, the onus is on you because you will use uh, TripIt, Tomas will use his calendar. If we had one solution, it doesn't work for the mass market. And we want to be able to provide something that works for you, it works across a team, it works in a business. Um, we want to change the way that people handle their communication and just make them better at it. What, what else could I do? Could I do something with uh, coworkers? Because they all have a yep. Rackspace.com email address. Yeah, exactly. Um, coworkers, people on the same team. So I gave the example of sales teams. That also works in support. Maybe a customer server has gone down and we know that somebody's not in to fix that today. So it picks up the next relevant person based on maybe they've spoken to them before within your own CRM. Um, the out of office, it, it, it's, it doesn't do anything smart. It just says, I'm out of the office till this point. Maybe if certain people reply, that automatically gets forwarded to you in a different manner, or there's a way in which they can get around the system. Um, we're really looking at how you're communicating with the other people that are important around you and the context. When you're at work, the other people in your team are important, and the work emails need to go to the right places at the right time. When you're at home, it might be for two hours, your wife's saying, stop talking to everybody. Let's have some time between us. Yeah. You change the profile on your phone. It means that messages are redirected. You, you have that space. We put date nights on our calendar. So right. <laughs> we're hardcore about calendars. But <laughs> yeah, that would automatically trigger a profile, which means for that time, no one bugs you. How do you guys get paid in this uh, business? Sure. So we have a, a premium service. Um, the free service allows you to set up a, a certain amount of tasks. It limits how quickly uh, the tasks are reactive. As things scale, um, you know, we have a, a premium solution and a team solution. So for big enterprise clients, this might be handling a mass amount of emails that go across a whole team and giving really insightful analytics back. I think that that's something that's really important here. We're learning from the inbox and we're also telling you what's going on. So we have people in our platform already that check every couple of days to see how many emails they've responded to and they use that as a measure of their productivity. Maybe the next week they're down so they know that they should have replied to more. Um, we're already seeing that we're, we're actioning 5% of all emails that are being pr tr uh, processed for our system. So we're processing about 100,000 a week, we're actioning 5%, our functionality is right at the start of this journey. There are 250 billion emails being sent a day, 
we have a huge scale to roll up to. What systems does this work with? I assume you started with Gmail. Gmail, right. So yeah. Uh, do you work with the apps version of Gmail for yep, corporations? Yeah, Gmail and, and Gmail apps for, for corporations. Um, on the web service side, hooking up the APIs is, is very quick and easy for us. You don't work with Hotmail or with uh, Not yet. Uh, that's in our roadmap. Um, Exchange is a big one for us as well because you know, that gives us access to a different We have a lot of base. people on Exchange at Rackspace so yeah. and we host Exchange so that we're interested in that. Yeah, so working with people like you is exactly where we want to be. Very cool. Uh, this is cool. I'm going to try it. So when, when does it ship? Um, we're currently in private beta, so sign up at www.trade.io. Uh, the waiting list is packed. There are a lot of people with this problem that can't wait to get into our solution. We're looking to uh, open up very soon. Very cool. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I need it in the worst way. So awesome. thank you for coming out and talking thank you. to me about it. Thank <laughs> you.